Okay, let us see this question. An object has a weight of 6.1 into 10 power 2 Newton. What is the change in gravitational potential energy of the object when it moves through 8 meters vertically? It's simple and straightforward. If we, if we want to talk about potential energy, gravitational potential energy, and we have a very simple formula that is MGH. And uh, you all know this already, I know. So mg will be the weight, so it will be taken as 6.10 into 10 to the power 2 into the height is 8 meters. So now we will calculate it 8, we just multiply it 48 into 10 to the power 2. So it will become 4.88 into 10 raised to power 3 joule, which can be written as 4.88 kilojoule. So it seems that our answer should be D, but please beware, our answer is not D. Why the answer is not D? See, because if we, if we try to choose our answer with this much of the information, we see that even C should be the correct answer as well as D should be the correct answer. And now you are confused whether the answer is C or whether the answer is D. At this moment, things are getting clear now. Now we understand, okay, they do not want you to find the potential energy actually this question is from significant figures so we have to see what are the minimum amount minimum number of significant figures given in our calculation given in, in the given data now if we concentrate on this uh, value of the weight it is 6.10 and this zero is not accounted as a significant figure so there are two significant figures that we have here so our answer should be round off to two significant figures. Now, <clears throat> when we round it off to two significant figure, it will become 4.9 kilojoule. 4.9 kilojoule. So, our answer will be 4.9 kilojoules. See, this is the product. Whenever we are multiplying to physical quantities, the the uh, the physical quantity having more number of significant figure is taken and the answer is uh, given in those many number of significant figures but if it was addition or subtraction we would be choosing the minimum significant figures that is used in the complete data for example here there are two significant figures in the terms of weight but when you talk about the length or the height there is only one significant figure here so we have chosen two but if it was addition or subtraction, the answer would be in one significant figure. If it is multiplication or division, the answer will be in two significant figures. So your answer will be 4.9 kilojoules. This is Professor Varun. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the best.